So, pick a pair. Pick a pair, any pair. But they should oh. have the same numbers on them. Yeah. 30. <laughs> oh, okay. I really don't know what I'm doing, Mark, so I'm not sure. <laughs> That's why I have James <laughs> as my co-host. Well, I think you're doing a great job so far. Teamwork makes the dream work, right? Ready to roll? <laughs> After survival, we Hi, I'm Bob Crowley. But a lot of times I say I'm if I if I see a survivor fan, I'm survivor Bob. So, but I'm just an old man from Maine. And that's my little girl. <laughs> We're at Maine Forest Yurts. We're on 100 acres in Durham, Maine. We have three yurts here that we rent out nightly, year round. And what we love about the property here is that we can be outdoors at any time of the year and we can enjoy it with people that are coming from all over the world. Survivors changed my life dramatically. Um, I, um, I've been able to raise a lot of money. I've been, well, this, this place wouldn't exist if it hadn't been for Survivor. And if Jeff Probst or Mark Burnett is watching this. I'd just like to say thank you very much. It's awesome. I love coming to work every day. Uh, every day is different, especially when Mother Nature has something to say about it. So every, every season's different. It, right now I realize that bibs are the best way to go to make my, my daily life warmer. And my daughter Paige uh, brings somewhere between four or 500 uh, fifth graders here every year to um, sort of learn respect for the outdoors in Maine. There was a, a group came the night that we had the Nor'easter two years ago. Oh, that was yeah. a Bonnie Eagle. Bonnie um, Eagle. Pathfinders Club. Seventh grade boys, they came out and they, they stayed, the boys stayed outside in a tent and it was one of the biggest snowstorms we had all year. And they, they were fine. It was, uh, it was really cool. <laughs> you know, Al Roker was saying, you know, go to the grocery store and buy a little grocery, you're gonna be, you're gonna die. You know, just watch out, don't go home. You know, and these kids were, sleeping out and I came in the next morning with the snowmobile and they put the tents up but they were completely covered with snow so they looked like igloos. There are all sorts of aspects to education and one of the things is an appreciation for life, other you know, organisms and, and just nature and it's been a great privilege that my daughter has picked that up and is carrying on the Crowley legacy of hanging outside all year round. It's funny when I hear interviews that he does, I realize how much I have learned from him. Um, but the thing I've probably learned the most is to, to love and enjoy the outdoors and to, to be a good person and to give back when I can and to have patience because he's probably the most patient man you'll, you'll ever meet. I've got two forestry degrees and if you'd ever told me when I was at the University of Maine in 1969 that I would have 100 acres two chainsaws and a tractor. <laughs> I never would have believed it. So we chose yurts because it's fun to say. Uh, and not, when we first started, not many people knew what they were and they're, they're just different. Um, there's so many places to go and to rent a log cabin or, or another structure like that. Um, but we enjoy the yurt structure because it's a circular structure and the hippie in me likes to say that there's no corner for bad energy to get caught. You feel good when you're in them. All the, the bad energy goes out the belly button of the earth, out the dome, and it's just, they're peaceful to be in. Um, and they're just unique. And we wanted to do something unique and a little different. I got the memo apparently, but I didn't read the memo. So I'm not sure what we're having for dinner tonight. But if you need me to go out and kill it, I've got my L.L. Bean Swiss Army knife, and I'm ready to go try. Did Bertie get that squirrel? If Bertie got that squirrel, we can... Yeah, what's that? Is that a, is that a squirrel? Is that a squirrel? <laughs> Dinner tonight, because I got the memo and I read the memo, is raviolis from Bruno's and I think sauce from Macucci's. So I'm super excited about that. I've never had homemade raviolis in the in the yurt. Yeah. I'll get Bob. I'll get the door from Bob. Get a hand, Bob. Food? Three more 
Thank you. This is a little travel kit for you. I just gave Paige a backpack. So she took the backpack. Blame her if you want that backpack. Blame her. She took the one I have. gave me a nice backpack and a gun last year. So yeah, that's the thing. This is the same type of technology as sailcloth. So it just it's like it's bulletproof. So for you, you can throw all your tools in there, and you're going to be. Tell me it's bulletproof. Well, don't try to shoot it though. But. Although that would be a pretty great video if we did it. So. So yeah, enjoy it. Use it on your travels. Will do. Welcome. Oh my goodness. Babies and puppies. We got everything. <laughs> Anyone else? Is this a little guy? What's yeah. Bobby. Bobby. Oh, hi, does it go Bobby? Yes. yes. I have the same hat. <laughs> right? Cool. How old are you? How many months? Three. Three whole months on this earth, right? How's it going? Are you eating whole foods you can eat? Are you having ravioli? Oh, don't cry. Please don't cry. Please don't cry. Um, okay, so tell us about the raviolis. Uh, the ravioli stem off from pasta we've been making at the restaurant for probably about uh, 12 years or so. And, um, you know, we decided that we wanted to do something else and get another revenue stream going. And How's the... Um the taste testing have been. That's the re reaction. Response. Everybody, everybody loves them. Um, uh, everybody who has bought them has bought them again. And you know, we through the years of making raviolis before, we just you know we had a we had a pretty good base recipe, and we just had to tweak it a little bit for this new equipment. And uh, people people love them. Same great so, taste. what makes Bruno's unique? What makes it special? <sighs> Let me take that. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of a lot of. Family recipes too, you know, that uh, okay. pass down and stuff. So uh, um, the food's good, you know. And it's like all the pasta's homemade. We try to do everything from scratch. We make our uh, own uh, Italian sausage and uh, it's a meatball mo sauce. Yeah, it's a most of the menu. Now I notice you have a, another youngin here. Uh, yeah. is, do you plan to keep it in the family? Yeah, he's, <laughs> we're gonna get him started. I think next year on dishes. You, you <laughs> chef right there. Washing dishes. Yeah. Washing dishes. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, and this, I mean, that's the thing with the ravioli, it's like, you just, uh, we're all ready to go. You just cook them from frozen, and they cook right up beautifully, and you put whatever sauce you want on them. Um, I don't know. Who's gonna eat? Somebody's gonna eat those. <laughs> right in time. <laughs> I'll eat them. <laughs> this it, is the spinach. The spinach, spinach pasta. When we use a ricotta cheese, it's an impastata ricotta, so it's a little drier. And it's better, more suited for uh, pasta and cannoli and stuff like that. Then we use uh, Parmesan Reggiano or Grana Padano, both imported. Very similar, I mean, about the same price. Um, sometimes we change it. But uh, fresh chopped spinach, uh, eggs, very simple. And durum flour, you gotta use durum flour for the dough. You say simple, but. <laughs> I mean, that's why you're good at what you do. <laughs> Bob, this beats the food you had on the island, huh? I'm guessing. <laughs> An everyday person wanted to buy these in the package? And coochies, we sell them at the restaurant also retail. Okay. Um, Pat's Meat Market, okay. Pond Cove IGA, okay. uh, Sea Salt, um, Bowl Street. <laughs> oh, know, nice. Yeah, Bowl Street. They were the first ones to buy, as a matter of fact, Bowl Street. Bowl Street. We are so lucky that we have family that are helping us with our business. And yeah. my daughter is helping me, it was taking over my business, <laughs> and your son is... Same thing, yeah. Um, so, aren't we lucky? Yeah, very lucky. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having us. Yeah.